What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts and today let's check out another South Park episode you recommended from season six. This is Bebe's Boobs Destroy Society. Let's do this. Oh, hello boys. Hi, uh, the school called and said we'll have to start going to class again. Oh, but I thought your teacher died. She did, but now they're saying we have to start going back to school anyways. It's totally gay. Oh, well, I'll tell Eric. He's just oh. down in the basement playing with his dolls. Carmen likes to play with dolls? I was going to ask the same question. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I know South Park is pulling this from the movie Silence of the Lambs. It rubs the lotion on its skin. And even though I've seen some clips from the movie, I've never seen all of Silence of the Lambs. Is it worth watching? Let me know in the comments. I miss my mom, mister. I want to see my Put the lotion in the fucking basket. You have to get ready for school. No, our teacher's dead, remember? Yes, but they said two weeks off was enough and they want everyone back. Mm. I'm not over our teacher's tragic death. I'm still sh shooken up. You get over Liar. it. <laughs> hey, baby. You guys, uh, notice anything different? Oh my god, baby, you got boobs. Yeah, they started coming in last week. At first I thought they were just mosquito bites, but then they didn't go away. I know this has been a difficult couple weeks for you all with the untimely death of your teacher. But it's time for us to try to move on and learn. I'm watching this out of order. Which teacher died? Don't tell me how, but which teacher? Mr. Maggie, I don't think I'm over the teacher's tragic death yet. I need more time. It's just, it still hurts, you know? Can I go home? No, Eric, what we're going to do is learn to hide our emotions with math problems. Dude, look at Baby. Something seems different about her. Yeah, I noticed that too. That girl Baby is kind of cool. I was just thinking the same thing. It's like, she's a girl. But she's someone you can hang out with. Yeah, Bebe is kind of cool, huh? <laughs> That's how it is. Is that the same shirt that that Bebe chick always wears? That just seems like a really awesome shirt. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. I was, I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> Who can tell me the answer to the first problem, six times eight? Uh, Bebe? Oh, uh, 48? Whoa. <sighs> that is an awesome answer. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Baby is really smart. Maybe she's actually cool enough to hang out with us. Yeah, maybe. We're gonna go throw rocks at cars later on, and we thought maybe you'd like to join us. You toss these little rocks at cars, and if the driver gets angry, you blame me. Yeah, it's cool. What, butters? Wait for a car to drive by that big pine tree, then you chuck a rock at it. It's all about the timing. You damn kids! You try it, baby. Okay. Here comes the sedan. You damn kids! That's that cool! I never threw rocks at cars because I had the kind of parents who would get in my ass for that. <laughs> and then every time I think about kids throwing rocks at cars, I think about that case where th these boys, uh, I, I don't know if it was three or four boys, they threw like this, this giant rock off of a bridge and it went through somebody's window and caused this lady gruesome, irreparable damage. And uh, yeah. So the moral of the story is don't drop giant stones on cars. That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. That was sweet, baby. Now if you just hold the rock like this, you... Yeah, here, it's like if you put your thumb on this side. I'm showing her. Yeah, just <laughs> let me show real quick how to put the thumb in... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sweet, baby. Yeah, just let me show her real quick how to put the thumb in... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, um, it's 5.30. I'm supposed to get home, so I'll see you later. Wait, what were we doing again? We were throwing rocks at cars. Oh, yeah. And they snapped back. Hi, Hey, everybody. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, kids, yesterday I asked you to write a paper to read aloud for the class. Now, who wants to start? My paper is called, Why Bebe is the Coolest Person Ever. Hey, that's what I wrote about. Me, too. Oh! She's good at almost everything she tries. She's awesome. The end. Okay, very nice, Clad. My cat, Thumper. Wow. <laughs> Thumper is gray with a white spot. Sometimes he likes to chase his tail. <laughs> chase his tail? That must so be so silly. funny. Thumper is 12 years old. That's pretty old for a cat. The end. That's such a great paper. <laughs> They're so dumb. <laughs> but boys do that. That's what we do. The new Cold War. Oh, God, here we go again. Dark alert. Have any of you dumb girls seen Bebe anywhere? Dumb girls. 
Can you believe Bebe? She thinks she's so cool all of a sudden. I can't stand her anymore. She's such a slut. I heard that she made out with eight different boys in one minute. So how do other girls respond to that girl who's developing more quickly than her class? Do, do they throw shade? Are they like, oh, cool? Like, I don't even... I have no idea. Did, does the girl get, like, an unwarranted reputation just because her body's developing? It's not her fault. But I wonder if any of that really happens. If you know, let me know in the comments. I heard that her asshole is, like, this big around. Whoa. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, baby. Slut. 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 Wow. You guys still want to go ice skating after school? Oh, no, that's okay, baby. You might trip and then we'd be sucked into your huge gaping vagina like ants into a vacuum cleaner. Oh, that's messed up. Girls can be mean. My girlfriends at school said some really mean things to me today. Mm. They called me a slut with a huge gaping vagina. Part of being a woman is having a friend one day and calling her a slut the next. But am I slutty just because I'm starting to be oh. friends with guys? I remember when I was a little girl, the boys didn't think I was very smart at all. But then one day, they all started thinking I was really smart. I guess big hmm. smarts just run in our family. You guys wanted me to meet you here? Yeah, have a seat, Tweak. We all need to have a talk. Tweak! Oh, God! It's obvious that Bebe is like the coolest, smartest, most awesome person we've ever met. True. True. Yeah? Yep. And, you know, we've been trying to fill the gap with a fourth friend ever since Kenny died, God rest his soul. I think maybe it's best for everyone if we make room to allow Bebe to be our new fourth friend. And so, Kyle, I just want to say that it's been really great and we're going to miss you. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's a nice watch for you and some peanuts. Me? Dude, I've been peanuts. here since the beginning. And we're really sad to see you go. Let's give a big round of applause for Kyle, everybody. Hip, hip. Dude, we're not kicking Kyle out. <laughs> All right, fine. So then I guess we have no choice but to let you go, Tweak. No way. Tweak's cool. Yeah. Well, dumbasses, how are we going to make room for Bebe? Ah, they got rid of Cartman. Fuck you, Kyle. And fuck you, Stan. Fuck you, Tweak. Tweak didn't do anything. Bebe, you're still cool. We're trying to get Bebe to run for class president. I'm class president. The vote was last fall. Ouch. Well, yeah, but Wendy, you have to admit, Bebe's a lot smarter and more organized than you. She's not everyone you guys are just drawn to something else oh god you guys are so stupid we can be stupider than baby yeah yeah <laughs> the baby's cool, than baby. the fellas. we're going to see our friend baby baby is our friend didn't you all get the memo baby is everybody's friend <laughs> i believe she's playing lambs over at eric cartman's house Cartman's. Oh, Cartman See, and this is precious. Now just yell, put the lotion in the fucking basket. Put the lotion in the basket. Put the lotion in the fucking basket. Then you say, don't you hurt my fucking dog. Don't you hurt my fucking dog. You bitch, I'll cut your throat. <laughs> Baby, I thought we were going to watch Terrence and Philip today. Yeah, and then we got to work on your campaign. Right, but first we have to go to the... Oh, no. <laughs> it's scrapping over. Oh, Timmy, no. They are so down. Full eight mode. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, I never meant to cause all this trouble. That totally seems like something Randy Marsh would do. So I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Hey babe, those boys from your school are still waiting outside to see if you'll come out. <laughs> Stan's the alpha male. Sometimes I think I'm not as smart or cool as they say. That everyone just tells me I am because of my hooters. Sweetie, you're a Stevens. Whoa. And Stevens women are always told they're really, really smart. Mom, what's six times eight? Oh, sweetie. Those are two completely different numbers. <laughs> what? Time to be getting home. Bebe's not feeling well and she can't come out today. Go on, shoo. I love it. What? Can you call 911 for us? Huh? Uh, 911. Uh, uh, 911. We've landed on Earth thousands of years in the future and apes have taken over. I knew it. You blew it up, didn't you? I don't want to live in this futuristic madness. Take what? it, April, and go to hell. Well, hello this there, so little random. girl. My name is Dr. Hallis. What can I do for you today? I want to have breast reduction surgery. No. You're a kid. Well, young lady, I'm afraid that we don't offer breast reduction surgery to girls of your age. Yeah. Britney Spears got fake ones when she was a teenager. Why can't I have mine taken off? Because making true? breasts larger is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Making them smaller is insane. 
I think it's insane yeah. to want them bigger. Ever since I got these stupid things, everyone treats me differently. I feel like I might be treated differently the rest of my life. Oh, come on now. That's just silly. Here's the Anderson file, Doctor. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Jillian. That's great. Oh, god damn. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the coffee you wanted, Doctor. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. So stupid. If my breasts keep growing this way, boys will give me whatever I want. Yeah, so that's great, isn't it? No, it's not. Because if I grow up getting everything I want, having things made easy for me because I have hot knockers, then I'm going to grow up to be a lame person. That may be true, but I'm afraid I just cannot ethically perform a breast reduction surgery on an eight-year-old girl. Damn it! If, on the other hand, you'd like to make them a little bigger, I think now might be the right time to size up. What? I don't want to bring it up, but it's in my head because it's so relevant to today. Isn't there a big debate over other types of surgery? that kids probably shouldn't be having at such a young age. I guess this part of this episode was ahead of its time without even knowing it was. Randy, could you have a talk with Stanley? It's just that, well, he's been acting a little different lately. Ah, ta. <laughs> he's been ignoring his homework and all of his friends. Oh boy, looks like he's starting to notice breasts. Hey there, son. Ah, ah, ta. Yes, ah, ta. <laughs> As you get older, boobs, but these ah, ta, will start becoming a major part of your life. You can't let them get in the way of your friends. Your friends are forever. Friends. Mm. Ata. Boobs will come and go, and then someday, you'll meet a pair of boobs that you want to marry. And those become the boobs that matter the most. I love you. If you can just understand that, Stanley, you'll see that boobs hold no real power at all. What? The boys are at war. All is going as planned. Soon all the boys will be brought to their knees. We grow larger every day. Soon the entire town- Shh, shh, she's awake. Oh, quiet. Ah! Your breasts have a power that will unleash itself as you get older. They feed off the misery of boys and grow to bring woe wherever they can. You're blossoming wow. into a woman. I want to get breast implants. I tried to tell her she was too young. Society puts a lot of pressure on your daughter to look her best. Having small breasts can make her feel unimportant. But she's eight! Yes, right. well, not too young to feel flat and therefore not pretty. I'll need to carefully assess your physical and mental condition to see if augmentation is truly the best way for you to go. I have $3,000 cash. You pass. Let's do this thing. Oh, no. If we can help someone's self-esteem a little, then why not do it if they have $3,000? Are they really? No, they're really doing it. Oh, oh. It. damn it. Up there. Get in there, you bitch. <sighs> Okay, there's one Wendy doing great. Baby, where baby? Baby, baby, oh, oh, baby, baby. <laughs> you guys notice that baby isn't as cool as she used to be? It was baby's boobs. Boobs do something to our brains. They fill our brains with illusions. They do. Baby is actually just as lame as she ever was. Right, my boobs just clouded your judgment. I don't want something to have that much power over me. I don't think it will, you guys, as long as we realize it. Yeah, screw boobs, they're stupid. Uh, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry, too. Let's never let boobs come between us again. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they're all hard and oogie. What a stupid bitch. <laughs> oh. I really enjoyed that South Park episode. It definitely had some funny moments, but I really enjoyed this one because it made me think. It really makes you think about how much people value their physical appearance. And now with everybody having a cell phone that has a camera on it, and then social media being as big a part of our lives as it is, it feels like physical appearance matters more and more. Maybe more than it should. Or, or maybe, in my opinion, to a point where it's getting out of hand. But let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments. It was a really good recommendation. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because if you don't, I'm going to go full ape shit. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.